This is the unboxing of the T30 trainer from Dancing Wing Hobby, Dancing Wings Hobby. It's the first time we've taken a look inside the box here. Let's see what we got. Looks like uh, the box opens a little funky here. This way, I'm gonna pull this off the front tab here and pull that out. I ordered this one with the battery, or not the battery, I ordered this one with the motor and the servos and all of that. So, standard micro servos here, teeny tiny, but hopefully it's big enough. This is supposed to be a 40. Ooh. Damage there to the canopy. I guess I'll be doing something else with the canopy, huh? Landing gear, including wheels. That's kind of an odd deal, but that's all right. I don't have to buy wheels. Yay! Here's the motor. Let's see what it says. And so what it says about the motor here. Uh, right there. Good luck with that. How about on this side? Long life, ball bearing, Japanese Kawasaki stator, real, rare earth magnets, oxygen free, blah, blah, blah. And what does it say here? Typical applications, airplane. Let's see, let's see if you can see that there. Typical applications. If you're interested in any of that, what I'm looking for is the size of this sucker. I'm gonna open it up, see what it says inside the box here. Or at least take a look at it. 900 KV, that's what I'm looking for. MO2817, so. And it's got a nice little cap on it there, that's kinda of cool. That looks like a pretty good motor. Regular clips there. Those are the small banana clips, what is it, three millimeter? Um, I'm not sure about the size of this, but uh, I know there's smaller ones and larger ones because my other plane has the larger ones and I had to buy an adapter for it. This looks nice though. Nice little motor. What else do we got here? Speed controller. This is a... Let's see if we can see on it there. Oh, it doesn't have the number on it. <laughs> Sport RPM low cut off. It doesn't say the amperage on it. Or maybe it doesn't, I'm just not seeing it. I'll bring this up closer and take a look at it. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm assuming it's qualified. I got some tubing. Wing spars, I'm assuming. Uh, and then a nice big package of nicely packed wood. It doesn't look, it's all laser cut. Got some balsa, some ply, and then the warmers. And oh, there's our instructions and some stickers to go with it. So we can see already we got some instructions on the side here. linkages this was actually sticking out of the box that's why it's bent like that the other end of course has the control links on them doesn't really matter because I ain't gonna use that I'm gonna replace it with something maybe from Sullivan so And then lastly, in the box, I've got another thing here, 11 by 7 counterclockwise propeller, e-propeller. Uh, doesn't say it on it, but, uh, <laughs> and then some adapters for different motor sizes too. 
that's nice. It's, it's a nice kit. They've got the propeller they've added. Now, I bought it with the electronics, so that's an option. You don't have to buy that. But the landing gear has the wheels on it. You don't see that a lot. And it's nice big wheels. We've got kind of a rough feel, so that'll work well. I'm put this back in. All of the wood nicely packaged in a sealed bag for its trip here from China. All laser cut. Some uh, my rods. Speed controller. Uh, there it is, it says 60 amps, it does. So it's, it's in there, I couldn't see it through this uh, uh, electronic packaging. My motor's not in electronic packaging, but it is in bubble wrap. Wrapped up again. We'll put that back in. Box inside. Servos are all micro servos. Well, they're not micro, but they're not big. I think they're nine gram servos. Although they don't have any kind of documentation for them, and I don't see any markings on them either. So, here, I guess if you want to go ahead and use them in your airplane, you can. They're supplied. There's four of them here. So, I have two for the aileron, elevator, rudder, and speed controller. going to say this didn't make it or it's just I don't know what that is but it's like the plastic is thick here and thinner here I think the there's a consistency problem with the material the canopy might end up we might end up with something else for the canopy this doesn't look like it's going to make it and that's it. So, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this uh, kit is, is not a bad little kit. I mean, it's, it's got the parts in it, depending on the wood and the quality of the cuts and the quality of the laser cutting. But uh, it has the stuff in it that I needed to make this. I didn't buy it with the film. I could have. And of course, you can, if you want to buy it with a transmitter, you can buy it with a transmitter too. I didn't buy it with a transmitter because I got one. And a receiver, I got one of those too. But uh, it says it uses a 3 to 4S on a electric powered 2814. I think, what we what did we see in there? 2817? But uh, it's a nice motor in it. 60 amp speed controller not a 40 amp so i got an upgrade with that or at least uh, maybe i won't burn it out so quick and um it looks good 10 to 12 inch propeller uh very happy with what's in the box so kind of excited to start it it's a little bit early in the season to start it but uh, we'll see where we end up with because i got nothing else on my workbench here right now all my other planes are fixed up ready to go and I'm not building anything right now. I may get some Willows models, some small airplanes, build them for my grandkids or something. But this one will be my next low wing plane. <laughs>